its existence, which is 15 years now. Now, in this context, as you all know, Pakistan becomes the great defender against the terrorism, and the money is coming largely to to bolster the Pakistan situation, so that the terrorism is not uh, going to affect uh, Afghanistan, it's not going to affect uh, the West in particular, there's not going to be any terrorist attacks on the West, so therefore lots of money is going into the NATO to protect uh, various countries against the terrorism, and Pakistan is receiving a great deal of this money, but again, uh, we think, and I think also that the U.S. State Department and other uh, foreign affairs departments are thinking that the money going into Pakistan to fight terrorism, one has to be very careful. I saw in the newspaper today in the Kashmir the Times that there's already some question in the U.S. about the use of Pakistan money. Of course, this was being proposed by India use of money which is going to Pakistan and so on. Let's be careful where that money is going. So in a, in a way, still, Pakistan is the great defender uh, against the terrorism. And this continues like that. So the other uh, effort, which we have to do in the civil society, and in the, what the Mr. Majari is called the ground reality, which you mentioned several times, which is a good word. The ground reality is that this is this idea of Pakistan being a defense against terrorism is only one aspect of the world situation. The other aspect is the rights of people in South Asia, which would not necessarily respect it when the British Empire fell in 1947. But there are many people in South Asia, Georgia, and Pakistan, and in other parts, who don't have their national or their ethnic identity secured, and they're not having it secured necessarily by the Western powers who are preoccupied with terrorism. So the civil society and groups like this political party of the United Kashmir People's National Party represent the civil society not the, the governments, of which, as we know, after the fall of the British Empire, there were four or five countries created out of that great empire, did not include Kashmir, by the way, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and the Maldives. These countries are now very active, and we see them in Geneva, in the United Nations, each country jockeying and protecting its own self-interest vis-a-vis the other countries and vis-a-vis -vis China and Russia. This is in evidence now, as we see in the Middle Nations, that the countries, the nationalism is the main thing which we see, and the struggles between each country is the main priority. And those ethnic or cultural or religious groups which are not identified with any particular nationality having very, very short uh, attention given to them within the United Nations. Therefore, the, the, what you might call the need is for the peoples of the regions of South Asia to uh, somehow find methods by which they can bring their concepts, bring their ideals into the international sphere. And that is through one way through political parties like this, which support people's movements and support certain ideals of autonomy, integrity, uh, contrast, contrast with the state in a good sense, that is, argue with the state, tell the state what the state is doing wrong, protect the interests of the people and this kind of thing. This is the only way which the states, which appear to be very strong now in South Asia, together with China and Russia, it's the only way for people to make their, their uh, ideas heard. So we've been trying to do that a little bit in the interface international, and uh, there are, we cannot be going along with what, was, what we call in the UN parlance the gongos. A gongo is a NGO, non-government organization, which is 
dependent upon the state. The state supports the non-governmental organization to protect its own rights and promote its own rights. So, an NGO, a non-governmental organization, has to be careful not to become a dogma that is a government non-governmental organization. And I think the non-governmental organization, the political parties, and the uh, groups like this, which are showing quite a strength here, 